So what are we talking about? We are talking about the width being of the pulse being proportional to the modulating signal pitch. Therefore, mathematically, the width of the pulse is given by delta m and that is equal to delta into 1 plus delta. So when there is no message, Vm, what is Vm? The instantaneous value of the message. And if there is no message, that means Vm is 0. Then the width of the pulse is given by delta. So for positive values of the message, the width will be proportional to 1 plus Vm. That means it is increasing. And for negative values of the message, it is proportional to 1 minus Vm and the width decreases. So whether it increases or decreases, it depends on the message signal. So if the message is 0, then it is the width is this. And if it is positive, it is 1 plus Vm. If it is negative, it is 1 minus this. And this figure here indicates the generation of pulse width modulation, the message, the pulse train, and PDM. As you can see, what's happening? This is the pulse width. This is the positive of the amplitude. That means it is increasing. This is the negative of the amplitude. That means it is decreasing. So what is important here is when this is positive, as you can see, the width is 1 plus V. And it is negative, it is proportional to red time 1 minus V. Are you able to see that these peaks are narrower, whereas these are wider. The pulse width is increased here and pulse width is decreased here. So what are the observations that we can make from this graph? That the amplitude of the pulse in both the cases, we are talking about pulse width modulation, amplitude is remaining constant. It is only the width that is different. Compare it with your amplitude modulated signal. Can you see amplitude modulated signal? And when it is peak, this is the peak. When it is closer to the origin, it is negative. It is negative. And when it is going down, it is tapering off. This is known as tapering off. The edges are being cut. So that means that there is a change in the amplitude when you are talking about the pulse amplitude modulation. The same thing is not happening when you are doing pulse width modulation. What is happening in the case of pulse width modulation is amplitude remains constant throughout. It is only the weight that is being different. So what are the observations? The amplitude remains constant. PWM therefore is more robust compared to the noise reduction compared to VAM and this is the difference with respect to VAM signal and this is made only using the trailing edges of the pulse. It can happen even for trailing edges at these points. You can also have at the positive edges of the pulse. So as I told you, there are two edges. When it is moving from zero to high state, it is known as uh, leading edge. When it is moving from high to low, it is called as trailing. Leading is going up, trailing is coming down. So PWM, that is pulse with motivation, it finds its use in power applications and power applications like direct current, DC motor. So I just want to tell you something here. In a DC motor, you know what happens? Uh, motor most in different steps, like your stepper motor, your washing machines and so on, they move in discrete. How does a washing machine work? It's clockwise and anticlockwise, one to one is So once it moves in this direction, once it moves in the other direction. So rotate right clockwise and rotate left anticlockwise. So what's happening? The width is accordingly varied. And say so suppose you are using a washing machine for different clothes, you have a timer, the timer is set and uh, if it is in a fully automatic uh, washing machine, you dump the clothes, you run the water into it and adjust the timer, you set the timer. So until that time is uh, done, it will be doing on, off and on, that anti-clockwise, clockwise motions. So what actually happens is, it is a motor control. So if you have to have fast, that means bullets if you are using, 
the time is more and if it is ordinary synthetics or lightweight clothes, the time is less, so the motor will be running faster. And if it is heavy blankets, wet sheets and so on, they are heavy material, the weight is more. In such cases, motor will be running slowly and you increase the time gap also, that is a constant during this. So these are all the applications where we are using this. Uh, but what we are talking about is modulation. So I am just giving you the technique. Actually, this is a communication system. What we are using in this pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation is for communication. The example what I gave you for washing machine and all is how to set the time and width. Okay. Uh, so that is not communication. That's only giving you how the pulse width is being given. So, this communication systems, uh, whenever you are doing satellite images, image processing, computer graphics, weather forecasting, okay, uh, radio reception, TV reception, broadband reception, for such things, direct, uh, your direct to home transmissions, your, uh, what is it, uh, data, Skype, for all these which are being broadcast at one side frequencies, all this pulse with modulation. Uh, will have its okay? okay so this is about the funds uh,